So as long as I've been doing smartphone reviews, I've never had a phone that get better with software updates like the LG V60, or the LG Wing, or the LG Velvet. LG mobile department is closed, and it's been closed for about a year. But I've been noticing they've been dropping more software updates than ever. And you know what? Let's talk about the latest software update that I just received on the LG V60. So sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So I use the LG V60 almost every day and I don't expect much from LG, right? Because I understand that their mobile department is closed. So timely updates may be slow. I mean, that's my assumption, right? But we do get updates like I've been getting on my LG devices. One may ask the question, is LG making a comeback? Is LG making a comeback? Hmm, look, I don't know about it. I don't have any news about it. And I haven't been contacted by no one working at LG. So I don't know, but it's just an assumption that I have. Uh, but the mobile department has been working very hard on software updates lately, also with security patches. Look, my LG devices has been getting a lot of updates and it's been like a lot. Now, the new update that the LG V60 just received was 83 megs. Now, I updated this device and it feels faster, more responsive. And I know I say this every time I talk about updates on the LG V60. You know what? It is faster. It is more responsive. But let me remind you that the LG V60, the LG Wing, the LG Velvet is eligible for Android 13. So it's not over yet. Look, these are the last flagships that LG drop, and it's not over with yet. And it's so funny that my LG V60 is more up to date than my Galaxy S22 Ultra. That's like three months old. That says a lot about what LG is doing right now. Now, as far as performance, this device is definitely a lot snappier. It feels snappier. The animations are a lot smoother. Now look, compared to the Galaxy S22 Ultra that has a 120 hertz display, it is very smooth. Now remember, the LG V60 has a 60 hertz display, but it feels so smooth and responsive. So if you got an LG V60, go to your about phone and hit the update button and see if you have any updates. So let me give you this public service announcement if you have an AT&T branded device. If you brought your device from AT&T or you have AT&T branded LG V60, LG Velvet or LG Wing and you moved on to another carrier or you're using it Wi-Fi only, you would not get no updates, no security patches, no nothing. If you have AT&T branded device, you have to have active AT&T service in order to get support. Now, this is not an LG problem. This is an AT&T thing. So keep that in mind. But overall, I don't see anything new added to this new update on the security patches and better performance, which is a good thing. You know what? If you want to see me get charged with a crime for using the LG V60, Click this video right here. Check out this new video that I posted with me getting charged with a crime using the LG V60. I'll be in the comments. Let's have us some fun. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace. 